I want to talk about your forecast now, your first alert forecast with Annalise. We're talking about some serious heat today. We are, yeah. I mean, we're already in the mid uh, 90s right now, Brooke. The feels like temperatures are in the upper 90s, and we're going to get to it looks like at least 100 for today, but feeling as hot as 104. So that's why we talked about earlier uh, getting around that 105 threshold, and I do think some spots will. We've got a heat advisory at noon, also an ozone action day. So that's at least two reasons may, why you may want to limit that time outdoors, poor air quality continuing on another day. Let's take a look though at where we're headed into the afternoon. If you remember yesterday afternoon, we started to see some clouds kind of pop into the afternoon and we also saw a couple of storms yesterday. It was up around Bonham. So let's keep an eye out east of the I-35 corridor through the afternoon, early evening hours. At least a couple storms could briefly get going. Majority of you though likely miss the rain. So most of us don't get any relief through the day today on in to tomorrow. For feels like temperatures, we're looking again to get up to 105. I think those numbers might even be above that. 106 and 107 if you're out to our eastern counties. Mineola, Tyler, Athens, you could be some of those more extreme spots through the day today, but it's not a one day deal. Of course, that's what's making this more dangerous is that it's a couple days where we're dealing with the dangerous heat and we're going to do it again tomorrow. Feels like temperatures back to 105, so the heat advisory will live on. Of course, there are some things that we can all do that will help us out to beat the heat. If you can limit your time outdoors from about now till about seven o'clock, that's going to help you to kind of get past those hottest and most intense hours. Staying hydrated, we can't emphasize that one enough. Drinking a lot of water, even if you think you're not thirsty and you don't need it, just keep drinking water through the day. And then, of course, keeping your window treatment closed in your home is really going to help to keep those temperatures down inside. Never, of course, leave children or pets unattended in a vehicle. That is also a biggie at this time of the year, especially now rolling through the next couple of days. We are going to see triple digit heat through the weekend, but on uh, Sunday into Monday, that's where we're going to see a weak cold front come through by late Sunday night. So let's take a look at what that means for us. Most of your weekend is still hot, even Sunday in the upper 90s. It's not exactly going to feel nice, but late Sunday, here comes the cold front. That means northerly winds start to move in. It's not going to be as hot and we're also going to see a little bit of moisture, which means some isolated storms will be possible starting Sunday, but I think especially there on Monday across our southern half. And the good news is that it's actually going to bring numbers down for several days. We'll see that by Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday. We're finally back to near average. I know it's warm, but it's going to be better than what it has been this week. Brooke? See, three numbers were in better shape. <laughs> yeah. Annalise, thank you.